Yes, very good morning. So, as you all know, that today is the turn of roll number eleven to twenty to send their notebooks. If uh, some chapters have been checked earlier, no need to send. But if you have not uh, got it checked uh, even a single time, then you have to send it today. It is the turn of eleven to twenty. Please, Dima, first of all, switch on your video only. Then I will take it out. Right. So, Arpita, Arpita is there. Not uh, you have not sent your holidays homework, and you are not uh, even uh, sending your uh, notebook. And when I am calling you, you are not even picking my phone. If you are picking my phone, you are not talking to me. You are just keeping quiet, keeping yourself quiet. Switch on your video, Arpita. I want to talk to you, Arpita. Arpita, switch on your video. now you are not ready to switch on your video it's okay arpita the day will come you will be there in the school then i will talk to you right chaliye anyhow so we are uh, on the last figure that is sphere and its volume is to be discussed from the book and afterwards we'll start it from uh, you can say extra question some extra question will do and i am taking uh, the question number 4th diameter of moon is approximately 1/4 of the diameter of the earth the question stop at earth so we'll start with the earth diameter of earth i am taking it to be x and diameter of moon is 1/4 of the diameter of the earth so this will be accordingly x upon 4 moon's diameter is 1/4 of diameter of earth so it will be x upon 4 what fraction of the volume of the earth is the volume of the moon so ye baad mein batate hain ki kya wo keh raha hai first of all the question is regarding volumes of these two we have to find certain relation between the volume of these two so first of all we'll find the volume and for that we need radius we all know so this is r small r x by 2 let it let us take it to be capital d so this will be capital r and that is equal to x upon 8 so i'm finding out the radius of both earth and moon right so we need to find uh, their volumes so let us find the volume of earth v e likh dete hain isko this is 4 by 3 pi r cubes i told you whenever ratio is required no need to put the value of pi it will get cancelled in division so this is like this and uh, then this is equal to 4 by 3 kuch bhi mat cutting karo isko aise rehne do we'll solve it in the division now volume of moon if we are talking about volume of moon This is four by three pi capital R cube. So this is equal to four by three pi x by eight cube. So this is volume of moon. Now read out the uh, last line of the question that will guide you that uh, what to do further. He says, "What fraction of the volume of the Earth is the volume of moon?" मून का वॉल्यूम अर्थ के फ्रैक्शन का कौन सा हिस्सा है वट फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द अर्थ इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द मून दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू कमेंट ऑन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ मून सो आई एम टेकिंग वॉल्यूम ऑफ द मून एज न्यूमिनेटर एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ अर्थ एज डिनोमिनेटर एंड आई एम प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर बाई पुटिंग द वैल्यूज दिस इज फोर बाई थ्री पाई एक्स अपॉन एट की वॉल्यूम ऑफ मून एंड प्लेसिंग द वैल्यू फॉर वॉल्यूम ऑफ अर्थ दिस इज फोर बाय थ्री पाई एक्स बाय टू की Four by three pi, four by three pi get cancelled. This is x cube upon five hundred twelve, and this is x cube upon eight. So this is x cube upon five hundred twelve. Division changes into multiplication, and the things get reciprocal. This divide ke sign ko maine multiply me change kar diya aur chizen jo hai wo reciprocal ho. So x cube, x cube get cancelled. This is also getting cancelled. So you are having one upon sixty four. so you are getting volume of moon upon volume of earth is equal to 1 by 64 he is asking that what fraction of volume of earth is the volume of moon that means we have to comment on volume of moon so we are separating volume of moon and uh, keeping volume of earth on the other side give you the answer that moon's volume is 1 by 64th time than that of the volume of the earth that means 1 by 64th fractional part of volume of earth will be equal to the volume of moon naturally uh, earth is bigger than moon and so is the volume 
So now I am going to start with question number six of the exercise. Question number six. Hemispherical tank is made up of iron sheet one centimeter thick. Inner radius is one meter, and uh, find the volume of the iron used to whatever. So you know when we uh, there a ninth C. But you just switch on your video, then I will take your doubt. Anji, there a what do you want to ask? Ma'am, जो अपनी ये moon and earth वाला question कराया मैं इसका एक बार last step बता दो ma'am cutting वाला. क्या बात है clapping. अच्छा लगा कि धैर्य अटेंटिवली सुन रहा है गुड वी वांट टू फाइंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ मून वॉल्यूम ऑफ अर्थ का कौन सा फ्रैक्शन है तो दैट्स व्हाई आई एम टेकिंग वॉल्यूम ऑफ मून एज न्यूमिरेटर एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ अर्थ एज डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस कैलकुलेशन इज गोइंग ऑन इज देयर एनी प्रॉब्लम इन द कैलकुलेशन धैर्य ओके सो आफ्टर डूइंग कैलकुलेशन वी आर गेटिंग इट टू बी 1 बाय 64 यहां तक हो गया था इज इट ओके अप टू दिस धैर्य can i have reaction from your side okay so now i want to comment on volume of moon so i'm keeping volume of moon with my, uh, with the uh, on this side and uh, shifting volume of earth on the other side so this proves that volume of moon is 1 by 64 time volume of earth so bachche this is a very good opportunity for you people you are sitting at home there is no you can say noise at all right You are sitting alone, uh, so in the, in class, so you used to say, "Ma'am, ye tang kar raha hai, wo tang kar raha hai." Main to padna hi chaar raha hu. So this is golden opportunity for you sitting at home and uh, getting uh, your revision in this way. So you should not miss the classes, and you should attend the classes regularly, and uh, should get benefit of these revision days, right? Because uh, you just uh, think it like this way that exams it uh, may be conducted in offline mode, so. in that case it will be your loss if you're not uh, using or utilizing your time or you're not uh, paying attention in your classes that will be your loss in that way right chaliye question number 6 we are having a hemispherical bowl some thickness is there and the thickness of this hemispherical bowl this is given to be 1 cm and the inner radius this is given to be 1 meter inner radius is given to be 1 meter this is center and this is radius inner radius and that is the thickness 1 cm you know we uh, i told you in case of uh, hollow cylinder when we did the formula that uh, how to find the quantity or volume of the material that's been used to make the hollow cylinder that is equal to outer volume minus inner volume same we will apply in uh, the case of uh, every kind every figure the concept will remain the same here we want to find that how much iron is being used to make this hemispherical uh, bowl that means ye jo thickness hai yahan pe iron laga hua hai puri thickness mein iron is used and we want to find the quantity of this iron same way as we did in the case of cylinder we will do in the case of hemispherical bowl that uh, uh, material volume of the material or iron used to make in the, make this hemispherical bowl is equal to outer volume minus inner volume so you know the volume of the hemisphere that is 2 by 3 pi r cube you will subtract these two and will get the answer but before that you should know what is the radius of the outer part and what is the radius of inner part so if we are looking at radius of inner part this is 1 meter let us convert it into centimeter this is 100 cm radius of the inner part so if we are looking at the radius of the outer part you know how to find the radius of the outer part same as we did in the case of uh, path well equation circular path this is the radius of the inner path and this is the width when in the inner radius that is 100 cm Width that is one centimeter is added. You will reach to the outer radius, and it comes out to be one zero one centimeter. This is the outer radius. Radius, so you can have it to be one zero one centimeter. Now very easy. The concept that we have learned that how to find the volume of the material that's been used to make, a, uh, you can say a solid. So we'll write volume of iron. used to make the bowl 
is equal to outer volume that is 2 by 3 pi capital R cube minus inner volume that is 2 by 3 pi small r cube. I'm taking 2 by 3. Why so? Because the bowl is in hemispherical shape. And I'm taking, uh, you can say, r cube because in volume, cubic unit. So to make the calculation easy, you can take 2 by 3 pi as common. Inside it is r cube minus small, small r cube. Right? So this is 2 by 3. Replacing the value of pi, replacing the value of capital R and small r and proceed further, you will get the answer. I'm not doing the calculation, leaving it to you. But the concept should be clear to you. Right? So let us start with the next. Uh, Question number seven, volume of sphere is given to be 154 centimeter cube. Volume is equal to 154. We want uh, surface area, we find karna hai. volume find karna hai. and surface area, total surface area, hi jisko 154 centimeter square given. Hai. So, using the formula for the total surface area for the sphere, that is 4 pi r square, you can easily find the value of the radius. So, this is 4 into 22 upon 7 into r square is equal to 154. So, r square is equal to 154 into 7 over 4 into 22. So, r square is equal to 49 upon 4. Square shifts on another side becomes square root. And this is 7 upon 2. So you are getting the radius to be 7 upon 2 and you can use the formula 4 by 3 pi r cube and you can reach to the volume of the sphere. Right? So as a questions, how to do these kind of questions. Now I am going to start with the question number 9. Question number 9. 27 solid ion spheres, each of radius R and surface area S, are melted to form a sphere with surface area S dash and radius R dash. Purana X sphere hai, jiski radius R hai. Aise 27 spheres ko melt karke, ek new sphere banaya gaya, jiska radius hamare paas R dash hai. Sphere of radius R, 27 such spheres, they have been melted and it is to be converted into one single sphere whose radius is given to be R dash. Our first question is find the radius of this new sphere. Now when these 27 spheres, they are melted to form a single sphere, then according to the conversion of solids, volume of these 27 spheres will be equal to the volume of one single sphere. For example, if you are cutted a cake into 27 pastries and after that you are joining those 27 pastries back, you will get the shape of the cake once again. So I'm using volume of 27 spheres. This is equal to volume of new sphere. This is equal to volume of new sphere. So now we have 27 spheres ke volume ki agar baat kar rahe. So, you know the volume of one sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube and uh, 27, I have to multiply it by 27 because they are 27 in number. This is 4 by 3 pi capital R cube. 4 by 3 pi, 4 by 3 pi get cancelled. Uh, r dash, we sphere ka radius in r dash. We need to find r dash. So, you are having... 27 r cube, this is equal to r dash cube. We want to reach this r dash. That means it's exponent 3. Is ki jo part 3 hai, it is to be cancelled. And uh, parts can be omitted, they can be diminished only when they are in the whole terms, both sides. Some of the students, they do one mistake here. They uh, get can they cancel this 3 with this 3. That is wrong way. If you want to cancel this 3, uh, with the 3 on the other side, that 3 should be whole power. So I'm making it to be the whole power by converting this to be the 3 raised to power 3 into r cube. This is equal to r dash cube. Using the law of exponent, these two can be collected 
and three power can go like this. Cube cube get cancelled. So three r is equal to r dash. So what is the radius of new new sphere? This is equal to three times the radius of the old sphere. That is three r. Now, mate, whatever I am doing on the board, if you are not doing it side by side on your notebook at home, then there is, a, you can say, no that much benefit you will get from this revision. If you are solving it side by side at your home, then definitely the things will be imprinted in your mind, and uh, you will get definition or you will definitely get its benefit in future in your uh, offline exam and in your revision test as well. Right? Shall we? Next. Uh, also, find uh, the ratio of S and S dash. S was the surface area of the new, uh, sorry, old sphere, and S dash is the surface area of the new sphere. S dash is three R square. We want to find ratio of S and S dash. This is four pi r square. This is four pi nine r square. Get cancelled. This is one by nine. So ratio is one ratio nine. So let us discuss some extra question from uh, sphere. Just a minute, be. Phone sphere. Yes, Gurupal. What do you want to ask? Excuse me. Ma'am, ma'am, the thirteen point seven का seventh और eighth question का concept समझा दो एक बार. Thirteen point seven का seventh और eighth. We discussed in the previous lecture both the question seventh and eighth. दोनों ही हमने discuss किए हैं previous lecture में. Yeah. Okay. Oh. चलिए. So write down volume of two spheres. Volume of two spheres. They are in the ratio one twenty five, ratio twenty seven. First sphere, ratio second sphere. Volume is given to be one twenty five, ratio twenty seven. So this is V one upon V two is this. So दोनों spheres का volume हम लेने four by three pi small r cube and four by three pi capital R cube. This is one twenty five upon twenty seven. We want to find the ratio of their surface areas. I mean, their surface areas' ki ratio find karna. So you can have R cube upon capital R cube. This is equal to one twenty five upon twenty seven. So using exponent, you can have you can have R upon capital R raised to power three. This is equal to five upon three. Raised to power three, so three three power two. Both sides will be cut. This is r upon r equal to five upon three. Mark it to be patient. We want to find the ratio of their surface areas. That means uh, you can say s one ratio s two. So this is equal to four pi r square over four pi capital R square. Four pi four pi get cancelled. This is r square upon capital R square. Again, using exponents law, you will be having small r upon capital R raised to power two, and that is from using one. This will be five by three raised to power two, and that is twenty five by nine. So the required ratio is twenty five ratio. So we did so many question in each and every kind of figure where the ratio of one thing is given and another thing is to be find out. So such kind of question, keep it in mind. Next, hmm. 
सरफेस एरिया ऑफ द स्पीयर सरफेस एरिया ऑफ ए स्पीयर ऑफ रेडियस फाइव सेंटीमीटर हमारे पास एक स्पीयर है जिसका रेडियस हमें फाइव सेंटीमीटर गिवन है वट कंडीशन इज गिवन टू अस सरफेस एरिया ऑफ दिस स्पीयर इज फाइव टाइम्स द कर्ड सरफेस एरिया ऑफ द कोन ऑफ रेडियस फोर एक साइड पे स्पीयर दूसरी साइड पे कोन कोन का रेडियस फोर दिस इज अबाउट स्पीयर दिस इज अबाउट कोन दोनों के रेडिया दिए हुए हैं एंड कंडीशन दी हुई है दैट स्पीयर सरफेस एरिया दैट मीन्स फोर पाई आर स्पीयर this is equal to this is equal to 5 times the curved surface area of the cone cone ka curved surface area pi capital r l this is a condition which is given to us that surface area of the sphere this is equal to 5 uh, times so 5 yahan pe aayega saath mein it is 5 times the curved surface area of the cone so multiplied by 5 We want to find height of the cone. हमें कौन की हाइट फाइंड करनी है सो दी पाई पाई गेट कैंसिल यहाँ पे स्मॉल आर को दिस इज फोर आर स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू फोर कैपिटल आर एल वी नीड टू फाइंड हाइट ऑफ द कॉन एंड हाइट ऑफ द कॉन कैन बी फाइंड आउट ओनली वेन द रेडियस एंड द स्मार्ट हाइट इज गिवन टू अस रेडियस इज फोर स्मार्ट हाइट वी कैन फाइंड आउट यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन पुटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ आर्स दिस इज फाइव स्क्वेयर Five into capital R is five. This is L. This is like this. Twenty will be in the denominator. Slant height of the cone. It comes out to be five. Radius is with us. Slant height with us. So we can find the height by using the relation between L, H, and R. क्या होता है L, H, R का relation? L square is equal to H square plus R square. Capital R square. So this is five square. Four square. Twenty five minus sixteen. H square. So nine is equal to H square. So height of the cone comes out to be three. so such kind of question you can't say that we haven't done this this kind of question in the class so if it is there in the exam we will leave it we will say pata nahi kahan se questions aa gaye not like that if you know the concept such kind of question you can easily solve so you know the concept you know the formulas then it is very easy to solve such kind of questions right आगे देखिए इसके दो तीन एग्जांपल्स जो हैं वो थोड़े डिफिकल्ट हैं किए हुए हैं हमने आगे एक बार दोबारा इनको रिकॉल करते हैं फर्स्ट एग्जांपल 232 थर्टी टू बी एग्जांपल नंबर 16 फिर हम नेक्स्ट चैप्टर शुरू करेंगे रिवीजन के लिए पॉलिनोमियल्स 232 थर्टी सिक्स पेज पे एग्जाम्पल नंबर सिक्सटीन Sixteenth example is Monica has a piece of canvas whose area is five fifty one meter square. Canvas जो उसने market से खरीदी है उसका area it is given to be five fifty one meter square, right? And uh, she used it to have a conical tent made with the base radius three meter. Is canvas को she is converted into a conical tent जिसका base radius हमें दिया हुआ है Seven. Assuming that all the stitching margins and the wastage in a curd while cutting amounts to approximately one meter square, find the volume of the tent that can be made with it. First of all, हमें volume निकालना है. Volume के लिए we need radius. that is with us we need uh, slant height and we need sorry we need height as well theek hai radius hai hame height chahiye aur height ke liye hame slant height chahiye hogi tabhi to hum teenon ke beech mein relation laga ke h find kar sakte hain 
so this 551 jo hame given hai which she is purchasing to make this tent and afterwards she is uh, when she is utilizing this 551 uh, meter square canvas 1 meter square of the canvas it's been wasted in stitching and margining so canvas use to make the tent this is equal to 551 minus 1 that is equal to 550 meter square itni canvas actual mein use hui and when canvas is used to make this cone this canvas will be converted to the curved surface area of the cone so it means pi r l it is given to you 550 so using the value of r using the value of pi r is with you pi you can use 22 by 7 and l approximately aapke paas 25 aata solve khud karoge so slant height comes out to be 25 radius of the base is 7 so you can use pythagoras theorem that is relation between l h and r so and uh, you can get the value of h here ye aapke paas 24 aa gaya h right to ab uske baad aap volume find kar loge now look at example number 14 example number 14 at ramzan mela a stall keeper is in one of the food stall has a large cylindrical vessel of base radius 15 filled up to the height of 32 cm radius of the vessel in which the food is contained is 15 and uh, the food is contained orange juice sorry juice is contained up to height of 32 cm ye uske paas container hai jisme juice jo hai uh, he, he is having the juice inside this container and uh, he is going to fill this uh, juice into the glasses glass ke bare mein hame kya bataya gaya hai ये है हमारे पास वेजल सिलेंड्रिकल फॉर्म का और ये हमारे पास गिलास भी सिलेंड्रिकल फॉर्म का है एंड इट्स रेडियस इज गिवन टू बी सेवन सेंटीमीटर इसका रेडियस सेवन सेंटीमीटर एंड हाइट अप टू विच द जूस इज टू बी फिल्ड इन दिस ग्लास दैट इज गिवन टू बी एट सेंटीमीटर सो द शॉपकीपर इज सेलिंग द जूस बाई पोरिंग इट इन द ग्लासेस एंड द डायमेंशन ऑफ द ग्लास दिस इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू अस एंड द डायमेंशन ऑफ द वेजल दे आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू बट वी नीड टू फाइंड एंड ही वट इज द रेट ऑफ ईच ग्लास ही इज सेलिंग ईच ग्लास एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज थ्री थ्री रुपीज में एक गिलास जूस का बड़ी मतलब पुरानी जमाने की बात लग रही है हाउ मच मनी डिड डज द स्टॉल कीलर स्टॉल कीपर रिसीव बाय सेलिंग द जूस कंप्लीटली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we have to find that how many glasses he has sold so to find the number of glasses i told you to find the number of anything two things are to be divided agar hum fill kar rahe hain to volumes divide hote hain and agar hum outer wale area pe kuch kar rahe hain to surface areas divide hote hain to yahan pe volumes divide hoenge then we want to find the number of glasses we will find divide the volumes now one thing you keep in mind that whenever we do the division the volume of the bigger thing is as numerator and the uh, volume of the smaller thing is denominator so i'm writing number of glasses volume of this cylinder that is pi r square into h and volume of each glass that is pi 7 square into a get cancelled and after solving it you will get the number of glasses to be 100 aa jayenge aapke paas number of glasses now each glass it is uh, sold uh, for 3 rupees so the total money that the shopkeeper is going to buy is rupees 300 300 rupees usne bechare ne kamaya pura ka pura juice bech ke kya hota hai 300 rupees aaj ke zamane mein ठीक है चलिए सो नाउ आई एम डिस्कसिंग एग्जाम्पल नंबर इलेवन
एग्जाम्पल नंबर इलेवन लेंथ ऑफ वॉल टेन मीटर वॉज अ बिल्ट अक्रॉस ओपन ग्राउंड हाइट ऑफ द वॉल इज फोर मीटर एंड थिकनेस ऑफ द वॉल इज ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर एक हमारे पास वॉल है जिसकी डायमेंशन हमें दी हुई है लेंथ ब्रेथ लेंथ ब्रेथ एंड हाइट ऑफ वॉल दे आर गिवन टू बी टेन मीटर फोर मीटर ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर टेन मीटर फोर मीटर ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर इस सबको सेंटीमीटर में कन्वर्ट कर दो क्योंकि सेंटीमीटर में मल्टीप्लीकेशन होती है तो आपको फ्रैक्शन जो है उससे छुटकारा मिल जाएगा कन्वर्टिंग दम इन टू सेंटीमीटर दिस इज अ वॉल ठीक है डायमेंशन ऑफ वॉल आर गिवन टू अस लाइक दिस दूसरी तरफ हमारे पास ब्रिक दी हुई है ब्रिक ब्रिक की डायमेंशन लिखें ब्रिक की लेंथ ब्रेथ और ब्रिक की हाइट ब्रिक की लेंथ इट इज गिवन टू बी ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर ब्रेथ इज गिवन टू बी ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड हाइट ऑफ द ब्रिक इज गिवन टू बी एट सेंटीमीटर This is length, breadth, height of the brick. So, हम find करना चाहते हैं if the wall is to be built with the help of the brick, then how many bricks will be used? So, naturally, when we are talking about uh, the uh, wall, so bricks when it will be placed in uh, to make the wall, it they will contain the volume. They will be contained in the volume of the wall, right? And uh, the space which will be occupied by one brick that is to the volume of the brick. so the question is to find the number of the bricks we have to divide the volume two volumes because whenever we have to find the number of anything division is to be done so what we need to do volume of wall divided by volume of one brick will give you the number of bricks so we'll continue tomorrow do send your copies according to the schedule that is shared with you